Hey guys, welcome back to yet another interesting video based on business intelligence. So in today's video, we'll be seeing what is decision support system in uh, BI. So it's like a, a system that is used for decision making process, complex decision making process in different organizations and enterprises. So let's start with the basic definition of what is DSS actually is. So DSS is an interactive computer based application. It's a kind of normal application where you will input some kind of uh, queries or arguments to your system which combines the data as well as the mathematical models uh, like equations and all those kind of things to help decision makers solve complex problems which are occurred or which they observe in public or private enterprises or uh, organizations. So uh, this is where the DSS is actually used like it's a, a normal application like any other applications which you have which you use in your organization. So uh, well, let's see the architecture of DSS. So this is how the architecture of DSS. So uh, from this architecture, you can make out that this architecture we have seen in the uh, BI architecture. So it's like a tire change is there. So the tire one remains the same where you have the operational systems as well as the external data. In tire two, it's the data warehouse that's the same, uh, which is maintained for uh, a unified schema or for indexing. Now in tier 3, what you have is, uh, in BI there were uh, three components. You had the logistics, marketing, performance evaluation and uh, their perceived outputs and their features. So that component in DSS is removed with the help of this decision support system. With the help of this block such as data mart you have then standard mathematical models then you have some external models and then they are just uh, piped to an interface or a GUI in fact and then you have the decision maker who will give out the uh, apt decisions and so it's all derived by a kind of knowledge management is there so some kind of rules or some kind of uh, triggers assertions are placed over this so that it can trigger particular uh, decisions based upon the app situations so uh, like to if you consider only this this will become a system then to like you have to integrate with your company's data warehouse or company's historical data and all those things you just chain it with the bi architecture and so this is the extended structure of uh, dss so originally it was only this but then to, to have an end-to-end uh, -end floor, end-to-end -end capture of all the requests and to process it in a proper manner, you just integrate it with the BI architecture. So this is an extended structure of the design support system. And so you have four major components in this. You have the data management that is the very first one. So it's nothing but a database that is used for complex decision making process in certain organizations or enterprises. And this uh, databases are in most of the applications called as the data mart where you have all the data's uh, arranged in a particular tray or arranged in a fashion where you can just easily retrieve and use it to your uh, applications on for your decision making process and then it is concerned with the company's data warehouse since it is used for company's decision making process complex uh, activities so it is chained with the company's data warehouse representing the major repository of the data available to develop a BI analysis. So it's like all the company's data, like company's historical data, transactional data, operational data, everything is there in this data warehouse. And so it requires some input from the company's data. That's why you have the data warehouse that is attached to this system. Next, we talk about the model management. In model man management, you have different types of mathematical models and equations. So it's like collection of mathematical models derived after you do the operational analysis, statistical analysis, financial analysis, you have some kind of equations or you have some kind of observational inferences. So based upon that, what you do, you develop a kind of model and you manage over the time period. And so it helps in activities of knowledge workers by means of high level languages for the development of some ad hoc models like used for testing, unit testing, integration testing and so for all those purposes you use the model management. Then it is collaborated with other complex models like you have the external data so uh, like in order to derive like a uh, huge amount of data you just collaborate it with the external model so that it can add up to the volume of the uh, decision support system. Then you have the type of interactions uh, with this so knowledge workers use a decision support system interactively to carry out their analysis. It's not, it's not like in a uh, one to one fashion it's like uh, based upon the requirements just uh, put the uh, all queries and all so it like it receives input from the users in forms of like GUI of a web browser so a web browser would be there so in that they just put the, all the requirements and queries and keywords and all so that matching kind of thing happens in this DSS internally then it outputs all the results in a 
graphical format like in a chart tree rules or some kind of things so uh, that was all about the interactions which you had in this next you have the knowledge management finally when you get the data or get the information you have to manage it so that's like interconnected with the company's knowledge management integrated system so company would have its own separate integrated system so that is just collaborated with the dss so that it can uh, be more productive or more effective in some way then various forms of collective knowledge usually unstructured representing the corporate culture and so like uh, this knowledge uh, mainly comes in the unstructured form like we have uh, seen in the types of decisions so in mostly in most of the cases knowledge workers will encounter unstructured knowledge and so that will contribute to the corporate culture which uh, each organization or each enterprises follows so well that's all regarding the uh, dss or like how the dss architecture looks like so hope you guys enjoyed this video found you guys educated by watching this video please do like share comment and most importantly don't forget to subscribe to my channel thanks for watching